In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a page template, how to add a layout to this template and create fields. Welcome to this tutorial on how to create a page template. We will create a template, we will add fields to this template and finally, we will configure a layout. Everything will be done in Sitecore, so I'm going to log into Sitecore and show you how it's done. In one of my previous tutorials, we configured a layout. A link to this video you can find on the screen or in the description. I'm going to use this layout for this content page template. This is a standard template and to create a new template we need to right click on the folder and select insert new template. Now we need to open up presentation details of this item. So let's select the item and navigate to the presentation tab and details. We will be configuring the shared layout and default device. From the drop down list we need to select the layout. If you are configuring layouts, renderings or placeholders on templates, you need to remember to do it on standard values so it will be copied to the item upon its creation. You can find out more about standard values in a video I linked in the description. If you don't see the standard values item, you can create it by navigating to the options tab and selecting standard values. But make sure that the builder tab is selected otherwise you won't see the options tab. I'm going to save it and now we need to add fields to this template. We need to select the item and then select the builder tab. This first row is a section and this will appear on the item as a dark gray separator. You can expand and collapse it. You can configure it to be collapsed by default. If you select the section underneath the item, there is a checkbox that does that. Now we are back on the builder tab of the content page item and we need to create a section. I will call it data and in this section we will create three fields. The title, the text and the navigation title. In the next section, SEO, I will create two fields, the HTML title and the HTML meta description. We could create a base template with data and another base template with SEO and then inherit from these two templates. That would work as well and also would allow us to organize templates in a better way. If you are new to Sitecore and would like to find out more about template inheritance, you can find a link on the screen and in the description below. If we now create an item from this template, all fields and sections are available and the layout we've configured on the standard values is assigned to this item. In this tutorial we've seen how to create a page template, we've added fields and we've configured a layout on the standard values of the template. As I mentioned during this tutorial, I've created other videos about standard values, template inheritance and how to create a layout. I will put all the links on the screen and in the description below. I hope you've learned something from this tutorial. My name is Piotr Wagner and see you next time.